All right, so since the mic's not working, I'm just going to shout it. Um, at this time, the class of 2014 would like to invite Dr. Joseph Zugradnik to the podium to present the trustee awards. Okay, I think we've got it. <laughs> 350 years ago, a school was formed in the wilderness through the vision of Edward Hopkins. Not only was the school formed, but a trust fund was left behind. As we all know, the school is no longer private, it's public. The trust fund, however, does live on. It lives on because of the prudent uh, direction of the boards of trustees and the generous donations of many Hadley citizens. This year, we're able to contribute $19,200 in scholarships to the following students. A $500 scholarship to Taibei Chung. $500 scholarship to Scott Dwyer. $1,000 scholarships to Kerry Cristoforo. $1,000 scholarship to Nicole Morrison. $1,000 to Rebecca Freitag. $1,000 to Courtney Tudrin. $1,000 to Caroline Moriarty. Molly Glazier gets a thousand dollar scholarship. A thousand dollars to Jara Barrett. Nicholas Bernard gets a $1,000 scholarship. $1,000 to Zachary Anderson. Carly Lewis gets a $1,000 scholarship. <laughs> Michael Dwyer, $1,200 scholarship. $1,200 to Jacob Kozakowski. $1,200 to Brennan Matroka.
$1,200 to Timothy Hanlon. $1,600 to Jessica Cotfila. $1,600 to Kira Mihalik. This concludes the Trustee Scholarship Award. Each year, the graduating class votes on the recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award. The class of 2014 has chosen Mr. Dennis Huckowitz as this year's Distinguished Alumni. Dennis Huckowitz was born, raised, and lived his entire life in the town of Hadley. As a youth, like several of my classmates who continue to carry on the tradition, he picked asparagus on his grandfather's field. He attended Hadley Public Schools, graduating from Hopkins Academy in 1970. After graduation, he attended Holyoke Community College, and in 1973, he went on to become a police officer for the town of Hadley. 20 years later, he became the town's full-time police chief. He took the words to protect and serve to heart. Chief Huckwitz cared greatly for the town and its youth. He was involved with 4-H youth programs, trucking animals for exhibitors, donating trophies, and generously giving his time. For many years, he ran the D.A.R.E. program. He was greatly involved in the growth of the police department and oversaw the move to the public safety complex we now have on East Street, and he helped establish the town's first canine unit. Our class knows him best by his presence at the semi-formal dances, where he, for many years, voluntarily gave his time to chaperone, and especially for the seriousness with which he ran lockdown drills, thus ensuring the safety of all students. You knew when he came by your classroom, checked to see that the doors were locked by giving each door handle a vigorous shake, providing heart palpitations all around. Pity for the teacher who left our classroom door unlocked. It is with great sorrow that we learned of his passing in early February. Tonight we are pleased to have Mrs. Janet Huckwitz, his wife, his son Andrew, and daughter-in-law Emmy here with us. It is with great honor that the class of 2014 posthumously present the Distinguished Alumni Award to Mr. Dennis Huckwitz. At, <laughs> At this time, I would like to call Mrs. Janet Huckwitz forward to receive the award. I was so very touched, along with my son Andrew and his wife Emmy, when we received the letter from the graduating class saying that my husband Dennis would be receiving the, ding, the, the Distinguished Alumni Award tonight. Thank you, class of 2014, for honoring him at this 250th anniversary of Hopkins Academy. Thank you. Thank you. 